Welcome to Truth, Money, and Freedom. Today is Monday, April 29th, 2019. It, there's a story here. It's a, more of just kind of a, a thing that's been written up by Jeff Clark. He's the senior analyst at goldsilver.com. But I thought I'd share it with you guys. And it was uh, meant to be uh, kind of, you know, a little bit of a joking thing. But is Jeff Clark wrote a letter to Silver and what she told him when I wrote to her. And, um, but um, let's say what, you know, let's see what Silver wrote back to him. Um, there's five points. Uh, number one, I am money no matter what. Buy me in physical form and you get the benefits most assets don't offer. That is correct. Uh, no counter counterparty or default risk. That is correct. Very few investments in this world have, you know, no counterparty risk. Uh, heck, even the dollar it ha actually technically has counterparty risk. You have to uh, remember, you know, everyone else has to believe in it. And then your counterparty risk also is the Federal Reserve, as long as the Federal Reserve is there. Well, someday the Federal Reserve may not be there. Um, silver has no such counterparty risk. Like, for instance, buying stocks. You know, you never get the stock. You never get physical paperwork in your hand saying you own that stock, uh, as was in the past. Now, you just have a digital account, you know, with, uh, you know, with uh, a Fidelity, you know, Scott, whatever. And uh, it's saying on a screen that you have that stock. Um, this is not true when you buy physical gold and silver. I mean, you have it in your hands and... It's yours. Uh, we could keep going down the list of I am money no matter what, all the examples of that, but I think we kind of get the picture. Um, but also, too, I'm more practical than gold. Um, well, in a way it is, uh, because it is more affordable. Um, but let's go to number two. I am dirt cheap with life-changing upside. Uh, dirt cheap is correct because it is right now. Uh, in fact, let's bring up what silver is right now. And I do believe it is in the $14 again. $14.89. It got shoved down again uh, from the closing on Friday. But look at the uh, where it's gone down to. Um, it went from nearly $15.10 all the way down to $14.89. So lost a little bit over over the evening. Okay, so basically it is dirt cheap uh, and the average price to pull it out of the ground is right around $16. So it's actually cheaper uh, than it is to actually mine it now. And uh, you guys have to remember this. If you want to get into an asset, the best time to get in is when it is completely unloved. Um, silver is probably the most unloved asset in the world right now by magnitudes. So keep that in mind, you know, when it comes to silver. And I'll link this below so you guys can read all this stuff too and see all the graphs and everything. Uh, number three, uh, my price lags gold, then passes it. That's kind of one of the important things about uh, silver and gold is the ratio uh, because of the price differentials. Um, there's a strategy that a lot of people are going to follow um, when they have silver and gold. They are precious metals, you know, stackers. And that's the ratio between silver and gold. Right now, it's pretty high. Uh, it's like 86 right now. So in other words, 86 ounces of silver or one ounce of gold. It's the same price for 86 to 1. Uh, but eventually, that ratio will uh, definitely come down to what would be considered the historic um, average, which is about 40. Now, the historic average is over a period of about 100 years. If you go back in time far enough, uh, you'll find that the historic average over a period of like literally 5,000 years, the historic average is about 10 to 1 or 15 to 1 in that range. So if you buy silver, uh, chances are the upside potential is significantly better than gold because silver will have to run a lot to catch up with gold and you will enjoy some gains during that. Um, so w when it gets back to its actual, um, you know, history means. So um, at any rate, that's a very good point too. Uh, the price lags gold, uh, then it passes it percentage-wise. Uh, let's see. Manipulations can't last forever. That's one thing that I'd like to talk about really in this video. 
and it's um, something that uh, is very important, and it's something people should understand. Uh, banks and governments and central banks, don't forget the central bank, um, they all manipulate the price of precious metals. They all do. It's a fact. Um, but we accept it. We, we understand that we have an extremely corrupt government. And this is the competition to the dollar. So, of course, they're going to protect their dollar and shove down the price of precious metals. In the case of silver, they're shoving it down below mining price. Uh, that's how desperate they are to keep it down. I mean, the ratio of paper silver to physical held by the COMEX is 520 to 1. Um, this is really dangerous stuff here that the government's doing to protect the dollar. But it is what they do. We accept the fact that our government is corrupt, that our big banks are corrupt, that our Federal Reserve is corrupt. Um, we shouldn't accept that. But we do know the government is definitely the one saying, you know, giving the silent nod to the banks, go ahead and manipulate the price of silver down as hard as you possibly can. We will not truly prosecute you. And this, by the way, is evidenced by the fact that um, Deutsche Bank was actually prosecuted, but only fined $4 million for actually creating a, um, over a time period of five years, a situation where they made four billion dollars off of manipulating precious metals so that should tell you right there governments literally are um, behind this um, so but at any rate manipulations can't uh, last forever how long can they last we don't know but they can't last forever so basically if you uh, stack while silver is dirt cheap you will in some in some day someday you will actually realize the full value of that silver when price discovery is allowed back into the system the government is currently preventing price discovery from getting in number five I'm on the launch pad and ready to ignite well we've been hearing that for a long 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 time uh, stackers of precious metals and every time, uh, like for instance, the last time they were on the launch pad and they were taking off was 2016. And that's when um, at the COMEX, um, they, they added another 41% more paper silver to the market, shoving down the price. That's when they got to the full 520 to 1 paper to silver or paper to physical ratio. Um, I've talked about that. In fact, um, in my interview with Chris Duane that we did last November, um, I did talk about that. Uh, that was kind of uh, uh, something, and, and he, he made a really good call on that. He says, I'll bet you it's way worse than that. But I'm just going off of numbers that Andrew McGuire came up with. Um, you know, the U.S. debt clock says it's 180 or 185 to 1. It's actually significantly worse than that because they're going off of government numbers. Andrew McGuire is going off actually banking numbers, not government numbers. So he has a different, you know, take on it whatsoever. But Chris Duane says it's probably twice or three times as bad as what Andrew McGuire had, had proposed. And that may be true, but once again, that's why silver is so unloved. It's not actually unloved. There's just so much paper in the silver market, guys. It, you know, <laughs> if, if it were one-to-one -one paper with uh, physical... I guarantee you the price would be significantly higher on silver and significantly probably doesn't do it justice. I'm not saying it'll be 520 times higher than it is right now, but technically it should be, you know, based on how markets work. That would be free market, you know, basically if there was only, you know, 10,000 or 50,000, let's say 50,000 ounces of silver at the COMEX, there should only be futures contracts for that 50,000 ounces and no more. But they multiply that by 520, and then that's how many paper futures they have out in the system at any given time. So, but I thought I'd give a little bit of love to silver today uh, because silver is getting a lot of hatred today, evidenced by the spot price of silver right now as uh, it's being shoved down. Um, and there's lots of mechanisms for doing that. We'll take a look at gold too. And gold has taken a hit as well. It, they always get hit together. Uh, if you can see this right here on the chart, looks like it went down about eight bucks. And let's look at platinum. 
Platinum took a hit too. Isn't that interesting, guys? All these metals seem to get hit at the same time, and they also seem to go up at the same time too. Um, so there must be some sort of continuity here, huh? Um, but I just uh, I wanted to chat about this a little bit. I'm a silver guy, and um, um, I've I've been getting silver for a long, long time, and I on the launch pad and ready to ignite you know jeff clark i love you man i mean i love the stuff you write and everything but um we've we've been seeing silver on the launch pad and ready to ignite since 2015 and every time it ignites uh it gets smashed down by the comex uh by the big banks by the central bank by the united states government and indeed let's go and say london as well the lbma um the bank of england uh, the government of England, they're all smashing it down because silver is competition to the dollar. It always has been, and it probably always will be. Um, but there will come a point, I think, where silver will be so valuable that the use of it as money will be anathema. And when that happens, uh, basically silver should have a pretty good price tag to it. So remember, gold right now, is not necessarily a really good deal at twelve hundred and seventy eight dollars um, conjecture in our discord group has pointed out that kind of the rough average for mining gold is about nine hundred dollars so it takes about nine hundred dollars um, to mine gold um, so basically there's it's not really a steal here at this price it's a good price because gold should be priced much higher but silver is below mining price by like a buck and a half you know, almost a buck and a half, a buck and a quarter. Uh, that is, you know, how often can you go and buy things, you know, that are below cost? Um, but that's what the government does. Um, you know, they make, you know, silver actually go for sale for below cost. And I do say the government very deliberately. The COMEX, the government, our central bank, the Federal Reserve are all involved in this operation. And... If you do enough research on this, you'll find out that, unfortunately, it is legal for them to manipulate the price of silver and gold. Um, but, like I said, they won't do it forever. Um, but when will it stop? I don't know. But when you, you see prices like these, it's time to, you know, get a little bit, you know, and stack a little bit, you know, for that eventual period where they actually stop manipulating the price of precious metals. So, precious metals um, shine. When there's currency issues, when there's problems with the local currency. So in our case, when there's problems with the dollar, you know, silver and gold go up. When there's in extreme uncertainty and the stock market is, is uh, uh, well, let's just say going down, but it's so manipulated up, it's hard for it to go down anymore. Um, but when that happens, also you'll see precious metals move, you know, a little bit. So, but they are really, truly your hedge against a failing dollar. And um, as evidenced by other countries, when you go to their countries, um, and silver and gold are priced in their money, and they have a stagnant economy, they have a failing uh, fiat system, uh, gold and silver are quite expensive in their countries. So, but all it takes is one country one country to say we're going to back our currency with gold and uh, when that happens they will set a price for gold and i guarantee you it's going to be significantly higher than it is today that's another eventuality as well whether it be the chinese or the russians or even us um, you know possibly others you know there is a possibility others may do this remember now uh, Gaddafi was about to create a gold-backed currency that was going to be used in the Middle East, and that's, of course, why uh, the U.S. went in and killed him and took his gold. Um, and this is a fact, by the way. Back in 2012, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys remember the Hillary, you know, sitting in the interviewer's chair saying, "We, you know, we came, we saw, he died," and then laughed about it. Um, well, that was exactly what happened. He was about to make uh, make gold money again. I meant physical traded money, uh, literally backing of the currency. Now, we kind of have the same thing going on, you know, with Basel III today with gold. But it's not the true, you know, gold backing that we had, you know, back in, you know, before the Federal Reserve took over. 
Um, that was different because we had gold coins. They, they were money. And uh, it's not that way right now. Um, you can actually use gold as money if you wanted to, but they have stamped on the coin, you know, significantly less than the gold is actually worth. And that's supposed to uh, change your psychology, you know, to think, well, uh, this gold coin uh, cost me $1,300, but if I spend it into the marketplace, it's only worth 50 So it's not really money. That's what they're trying to get across with that. Okay, gang, I went on too long already, uh, but I just wanted to share the story with you guys. I will link it down below. Take a look. Uh, Mike Maloney's got a wonderful outfit. Um, it's, uh, it is goldsilver.com, and I have purchased a lot of gold there. I have never, uh, I'm sorry, not a lot of gold, a lot of silver there. And uh, I've never been disappointed. Um, he's got great customer service over there, and he is not, this is not the only... Uh, outfit that I purchased from, but I did want to give him his due here uh, because Jeff Clark did write this uh, story here. So uh, at any rate, I'm saying right now, guys, with the price of silver as low as it is, it might be a good idea to to spend a, you know a little bit of money and get you some silver, especially if you don't have any. So, but that's all I have for now. You guys have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Mm -hmm.